Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today. In this video, I will show you how to integrate Google Form in MailChimp via Zapier. Now, these accounts are for free. You can easily create them with your Gmail account. Google Form, all you need is a Gmail account. Same thing with MailChimp and with Zapier. With free accounts for MailChimp, you can create five audiences inside. It is the same with Zapier. You can create five Zaps inside your free Zapier account. So let's get started. So we are now going to create a new form, a new Google form. Name your Google form for this particular test, which will be test form. We can now start putting the uh, field you required for the form so name email address add another field probably phone number we're done for this test we're done Now we are going to edit the placeholder of the response. We're going to create a new sheet or a new spreadsheet. Name it test form response. Now we're going to test uh, the created form. Let's see if it will successfully scrape all the information that has been um, Put in the uh, Google form. Let's open our Google form. View. Ready for the test. Name. email address phone number submit let's see okay okay excellent now we're going to create our zap. Make a zap. Source code or uh, source zap. So Google Form. The new response in spreadsheet. You're going to choose the Gmail used in creating the form. Okay. Test and continue. Now we're going to integrate with MailChimp. Choose the target app. We're going to add the subscriber to MailChimp or the signups in MailChimp. Okay. So 
subscriber name email address and another field for phone number for name okay and another field for phone number click continue test and continue check first if everything is okay okay The zap now is ready. Name your zap. This is for you to identify that uh, created zap. Just put uh, anything you want that uh, can identify the created form and the preferred um, outcome or objective. Now we're going to test the form again. This time, we are making sure that it's integrated with MailChimp. So name, and then email address, and then the com, and then phone number. Submit. Now we're going to check and run if Zapier is running the the steps. Now we're going to check inside uh, Mailchimp inside the created audience. Now there are two contacts or subscribers inside. So good successful